new GCSE revision video on the first case study covered in theme one of paper one, which is overpopulation. So the example country covered in this session is Nigeria. And for those of you who don't know where Nigeria is, then as you can see from the map, it's fairly central in the continent of Africa. So the learning goal of this session is to show you what is needed in order to achieve a level three response to this question in your paper one exam. So you can read here to be able to produce a level three answer in a case study related to overpopulation in Nigeria. So recently in March and November 2022, so last year, the same question was asked and even further back, a similar type of question was asked, but just worded in a different way. So similar with the theme of underpopulation, you should be prepared to answer generally one of two responses, either talking about the causes or the impacts of overpopulation. But for today, we'll focus on the, these former questions, looking at the impacts of overpopulation. So like most case study questions in paper one, it's useful to think of issues, problems or causes by three main strands. The first being environmental, but also social and economic. So one effective way of doing this is through a table or a mind map. And here are just some of the general issues you should probably know when it comes to looking at the problems caused by overpopulation. So as you can see on the left hand side, we have various environmental impacts. The central column looks at the different social impacts and the far right column looks at the different economic impacts. So if we want to achieve a level three or we want to get full marks, in this question, your answer must include at least three developed statements and include a named example. So the named example we're looking at today, of course, is Nigeria. However, your answer must also include at least one piece of place specific detail. So what is meant here is that you need to know the names of places within Nigeria. This could be its capital city, for example, or perhaps other major urban areas. However, we will look at these later in the PPT. Before we do, we must be able to differentiate between what is a simple statement and what is developed. So an example of a simple statement would be Nigeria has a poor housing provision. However, to develop this, perhaps you could describe in what ways is this housing provision poor? Or perhaps what are the additional effects of this poor provision? For example, Nigeria's government cannot support its population by its supply and accommodation. This leads to overcrowding in slums, which in turn can lead to increased disease levels and inadequate sanitation. Okay, so as I said earlier, to get that level three, you must use place specific detail. So generally it's effective to use a range of different places, um, but also from different parts of the country. So some examples you could use are Port Harcourt in the south, where the issue being here is water pollution. You could also talk about Lagos, the largest city in Nigeria in the southwest of the country. Again, the issue here being traffic congestion. Also, you could talk about Kano in the north, where the issue being here is poor housing provision. Okay, lastly, to truly show your examiner, you know your geographical knowledge of Nigeria's overpopulation crisis, the use of data is a must. 
And of course, as the theme is population, demographic data such as its population size, perhaps its birth rate or natural population increase, for example. This would help strengthen your answer here. So some examples you may wish to include are its current population size, which is over 200 million people. Another piece of data you could include is that 60% of its population live on less than $1 a day. And last but not least, to really put its overpopulation crisis in some kind of perspective, well, Nigeria occupies 3% of land in Africa, but has over 15% of its population. Okay, well, that concludes just this short revision session on overpopulation in Nigeria. I will be releasing more case studies in the near future. So if you did find this useful, and as it's a new channel, um, if you can like or subscribe and le or leave a comment, um, just so that means I can generate more revision content for you guys. Okay, that's all that's left uh, for me to say is the best of luck, and I will see you again soon. Thank you.